Hey everyone, this is Keith Howerton with Texas Music Times Magazine at texasmusictimes.com and welcome to TMT TV. We're here today with a great Texas guitarist, Monty Montgomery. Monty, thanks for joining us, man. Appreciate you coming out and talking to us. My pleasure. I, I really do appreciate it. Hey, I uh, just want to talk to you about a couple things, ask some questions. We'll kind of keep it loose and bang some things back and forth and basically kind of let you uh, kind of take me where you want to go with this and we'll, we'll just kind of go from there. Um, you got a new project out, it was a DVD, CD combo from what I understand? Yeah. Was it your first DVD that you did? Yeah, um, we uh, returned to Birmingham, Alabama, which is where I'm from originally. Right. And I uh, did a show there in front of a hometown crowd, but uh, that CD, that, that DVD, CD's been out for, I think it came out in 05, so A couple, later couple three years. Yeah, so um, we're, uh, we're still kind of, you know, touring off of that until uh, next year, I'll have some new product out. Excellent. Was it your first DVD product that you've ever done? Yeah, it was. Um, I don't know why it took me so long, but <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know, we that, that facility in Birmingham is a kind of an in-house. They have like a it's kind of a sound stage. They do a lot of uh, video production there, so it just kind of worked out. Where did you do it at in Birmingham? At the Workplay Theater. The, okay. And uh, that's what the name of the CD is called: Monty Montgomery Live at Workplay. Live at Workplay. Yeah. I was wondering about the title. Yeah. I, w I thought there was just a catchy name to it, or whether it had actually to do. I, now I know it's a venue name. That's excellent. Yeah, yeah. It kind of served a dual purpose. Well, what was it like doing a process with a DVD as opposed to just a live CD or a live recording or even a studio CD? Was it was it different? Were you more worried about your hair? In fact, yeah, you look. You know, I, I try to go into to, to things like that. Just. Um, Try to change as little as possible yeah. about what you do, just so that you can capture what you do, you know, in in the setting that you're used to, you know. So, I just kind of went out there and did what I do. We didn't really stop and start over, or redo songs. I just kind of just rolled tape and just picked the best of what we did that night. So that's kind of the way. That's kind of my approach to live CDs, and you know, I've done a couple of live CDs and uh, and this thing. It's just always just try to. Just try to capture what you're doing, and don't try to play so much to you know to what's capturing it. Just use what's capturing it, and you know. not even feel like it's even there. So you exactly. put on the performance; it's right, and it's got the right vibe. Yeah, because it'll get in your head, you know. What I mean? Excellent. If you start cool. thinking about it. So. Yeah, well, it's then you put all pressure and forgive in what you're doing. So yeah, that's excellent. Well, what um, you know, talking about Birmingham, you grew up in Birmingham, right? Is that that kind of where you spent your formative years? Well, I mean, I I lived there till I was twelve. Right. And I never played music there. It wasn't until I moved to Texas um, that I picked up a guitar. 